dusting the camera because it has been sitting for sure <laughs> so hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm gonna try really hard not to get emotional and keep this short and simple and sweet i'm sorry if i babble and go from place to place but just bear with me because in this video i am going to express where i've been a life update pretty much what i have kind of gone through last year i think the last time i posted from what I saw my YouTube channel was 10 months ago, which I actually think that was filmed about 11 or 12 months ago in May. So it's about to be May. Yeah, I have no idea where to start. I don't have a list or anything. I'm just gonna kind of go through what I've been going through since the last time you guys saw me. <laughs> All right, so let me see. I stopped filming because I had just moved here to San Antonio. I am still here. I love it. I'm very happy. It is one of the best decisions I've made in my life. So let me see, I'm gonna kind of just go through like the months. So May was May, I just moved here in June. I was doing a lot of summer things. Going to Canyon Lake with my husband, been now which i was gonna mention and my dogs we bought them life fest to float in the water and they're so cute i'll see if i could post a video right here of them floating and swimming good boy Cooper, baby. come on lexi let's go come on good girl and it was about july when i started to feel a little funky actually now that i remember i think i was gonna film this i was gonna post what had happened and i had made a video and i might have no i think i deleted all the footage now that i remember because i had just gotten like a part-time job and i filmed that day anyway okay i'm just like kind of reminiscing so um it was about july when i was in a little bit of a funk mentally i never really thought that i had depression and i will mention a disclaimer i hope that these aren't triggering words because i'm gonna be talking about you know being low and i guess maybe get a little bit personal which is perfectly fine my intentions are to help others who may have gone through what i've gone through or are going through what I've gone through right now so hopefully this video helps and we'll get to that a little bit later as far as reaching out for help and so forth but yeah I know I've felt depression before in my young adult life I didn't really think it was depression I guess I never came to terms of accepting that it was depression but now that I went through something really deep yeah it was probably depression so I was hmm I was going through a time where it was really hard for me to get out of bed. I had to wait for my husband to come home and take me out of bed because I just felt like I wanted to sleep. I felt like I had no purpose and it's really sad because we do and i'm gonna get to the good part i promise but it was to the point where i was reaching out for help i was in therapy i know we all have our own and different beliefs but a lot of it for me felt like i was distant from god and that is one thing that i had to correct myself with because he is the reason why i'm here and i know i'm not here for just nothing i have a purpose here in life i was a little bit distant from god i'm not gonna lie and i've always had my faith in him no my camera is gonna die and i don't have any other charge batteries i will be right back <laughs> Okay, everyone, so I really want to um, film this video now because no one's home and it's kind of like how I like to film my videos alone, especially this one. Note to self, as a YouTuber, always have charged batteries, so I'm going to use my phone. Okay, I think I was talking about my faith. I was pretty much just saying that, like, I've always had my faith in God. I've always gone to church from when I can remember I was little, you know, just my life in Him, but I guess I just kind of of was questionable i maybe was just questionable about him and just my life and my purpose but to make a long story short i was really going through it this ran me through maybe all the way till september 
maybe mid-October. Mid-September is when I decided that I had to go to the doctor because something had to be wrong with me. And this is gonna kind of take a twist, but it's me saying this is because I know that I'm not the only person. I know there's other people out there who this might help. I wasn't having like a menstrual cycle and I knew that I wasn't pregnant. I had to do something with me internally. And I had told my husband, I go, something is not right with me. Like, why am I not starting, you know, my period? I went to the doctor. I had blood work drawn. And they called me a week later and they told me that I have PCOS. It means polycystic ovary syndrome. So pretty much they wanted to schedule me in for a ultrasound. And which I did get just to make sure I didn't have any cysts or anything like that. Everything turned out to be okay. Um, they did state to me that PCOS is not non-treatable. I'm pretty much gonna have it for the rest of my life, but it's something I can live with and I know other people have other bigger health issues than having PCOS. So I am being very humble when I say this. I was really concerned, like I really didn't know why or what it was. I was pretty much producing male hormones is what it is. And my body wasn't naturally producing the feminine hormones, which means that I wasn't going to have a period. The only way to naturally produce my feminine horn hormones a tongue twister a little was to put me on birth control so that is what i did i ended up going that route i've never really wanted to get on birth control those never were my intentions not just because i wanted to you know get pregnant or anything i just really didn't want to whether i wanted to get pregnant or not just because i hear things like you can gain weight but for my health i needed to start my period so i did it i got on birth control just because i have three weeks ago well i've been trying to since january 1st it was my my New Year's resolution was to lose weight because I can naturally produce my own hormones, but I have to be healthy. And that's going to be me losing weight, me eating healthy, me exercising. Like I have to pretty much change my lifestyle in order to not have to rely on birth control. And that is what I'm doing now. So my goal is to be off birth control within the next couple of months. And I hope that works because I don't want to go back to the mentality of thinking and like, oh my gosh, my body depends on birth control or else I can't have a period. No, I'm really trying to mentally prepare myself that it is okay if in a couple months I come off birth control and doesn't mean that I'm gonna be depressed again. I'm praying, I am leaving my faith in God's hands that that's not gonna be the case. And it's not just for me to get off because I'm trying to get pregnant. Yes, I just got married, but I have a lot more things to do in life before I bring another human being <laughs> here with with us i do want kids i do but for my health right now it's not in the works it's not in the plan yet in september i kind of don't want to say this but i'm gonna say it anyway my husband proposed to me in the moment when he proposed i was still a little bit out of it like i'm not gonna lie and i kind of love hate it because and he knew that but he loved me no matter what i was going through and that's what like who that's what like really made me realize like he is the one for me. We hadn't even said in sickness and in health and yet I was going through sickness in a way, right? Let's just say. And he was there by my side. Like he was absolutely my rock. He was my everything and, and my family too, of course. Like I had my siblings and my mom to talk to. Although the circumstances of me, you know, not really being mentally okay he proposed and honestly <laughs> i bring this up because either i was super nervous or because i was so mentally like out of it that i don't really remember what he said i know he said i love you and um, yeah i don't know <laughs> i have a video and it's kind of hard to even hear in the video these are videos from random people in the crowd so i mean that's like a different story i could talk about my proposal it was amazing though like it was one of the best nights of my life it was a very emotional night i I think that's why I don't remember what he was saying because literally I had that Kim Kardashian crying face. I think I will post the video right after this so you could see it.
and the, you know, random people started clapping and, you know, cheering for us. And then these random girls sent me the um, videos. They airdropped it to me. And so I was like, oh, thank you. Because it wasn't in the plan for him, I guess, to have it recorded, which is fine. Sometimes proposals just happen that way. They're very intimate and private and to yourself, although other people were there. Let's say October, I was kind of starting to get better. November... I was fine. December, I was fine. I thank the Lord every single day that I made it through. Birth control helped, but my faith in Him also really helped a lot. I was in the Bible every day. I was even joining a Bible study groups with a YouTuber I also like to watch. Uh, her name is Janina Amapola. She's a really big influence on me, for sure. We reach out to each other every once in a while, or I reach out to her mostly. And she's really, really good as far as being an influence of, you know, being a child of God. And she, as a child of God, expresses the word and shares the word of the Lord. And um, that is also what I want to do in the future. I mean, I don't think I'm there yet. I still have a lot to learn. And then that's another video I can make is, you know, just talking about my faith. To kind of sum this up, I know I didn't finish. I think I was on January because that's one of the biggest months of my year. My year and just of my life. It's probably going to be besides the birth of my children. But so four months later after my proposal, we got married. Um, we were going to have a big wedding. I was kind of already planning on a wedding um, back in September, but it came out to be that like, honestly, for the amount of a wedding, we could just make a big trip. So we do plan on going to Tokyo. We technically haven't really had our honeymoon January. Ooh. So I'm going to try not to cry. But um, January was a very hard but beautiful month for us. We did have a passing in the family. Yes, yeah, so it was kind of hard for us here at home. Um, and actually, to be quite honest, five days later after we had our passing um, in our family is when we got married. We knew that he would have been very happy if we continued our lives by having this joyful moment. <laughs> Ever since our I do day, it has been amazing. We've done things, you know, like through the months here in San Antonio. Like, like I said in the beginning of the video, moving to San Antonio has been one of the best things I've done in my life. Or at least moving back here because if nobody knows, I did used to live here. But I moved to El Paso <laughs> and I was there for the past five years. And that was also really good for me because if it weren't for me moving to El Paso, I would never have met my husband. But us coming together here is just, it's been a blessing. It really has. I know I was saying something earlier, but I kind of just got distracted with the month of January. So if I'm correct, I think I was going to get to the point where I was saying that if you are going through something, you know, mentally or just emotionally in your life, I just want you to know that you are not alone and that there is hope. There is the light at the end of the tunnel. Family support really does help. And let's just say you don't have that family support. I have just been blessed enough to have family. I would just say reach out to a random person honestly if you were to go to the store and look at clothes and you just see a random person spill your guts honestly if you feel comfortable enough just i've been going through it this and that just spill it all out whatever i think the point of therapy because i didn't i didn't stay in therapy very long because to be honest, I felt like my biggest help was going to come from God and the Bible and the word of God. So I kind of stopped going and I didn't finish. So I can't really give the best advice in therapy. But bottom line is you're not alone. Reach out to someone. Talk to someone. Talk to people. If you're a firm believer of Jesus Christ, honestly, pray, 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 pray. This is could be another video I talk about. But the verse I have been living by is... For 1 Thessalonians verse 16 through 18 and it is actually I'm going to bring it up because I can summarize it but it's best if I just read it and literally my tripod is on my bible so let me open this up and I share this verse with like absolutely everyone here's 2 Thessalonians oh wow I opened the book and it was already on Thessalonians okay so it is rejoice always Pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 
yeah that is the verse i have been living by for a couple of months now i just always find myself being thankful first always praying and just being happy you know joyous don't get me wrong i have my moments where i kind of like have bad days it's normal we have bad days nobody's life is perfect i will say this too i think a lot of people tend to live life based upon social media and that shouldn't be the case because if you notice like on social media you only post the fun and good stuff we always have to take the good picture and post that one i'm guilty of it don't be influenced too too much by social media that's all i have to say you are your own person that's something i'm giving my own advice on too so i'm saying this to you and i'm saying this to myself but be your own person um believe in what you want to believe have your own thoughts like i always tell people like if you have a feeling do not feel like you are being judged or you should be discriminated on the way you feel if that is how you feel that is how you feel feel sad that day or feel angry that day cooper baby want to say hi say hi cooper baby oh my goodness you are so too today look at those eyeglasses yeah, do our no handle, baby. He's a bad boy. He's a, he is a really bad boy. Like, I'm not gonna lie. He's up for adoption. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm just saying, do not get easily influenced by social media because it's it can be very dark you see a girl looking really nice skinny and fit and you're like oh my gosh i want to be like her and then you start to doubt yourself don't love your body for who you are again i'm giving myself this own advice because i struggle with this a lot and i'm saying this out there because i know i'm not alone but love yourself for who you are because um that's just the way god made you i almost dropped him I think I've said everything I had to say. I am going to be getting back on my YouTube grind as much as I can. I was just really out of it. I wasn't motivated because of just what I was going through. I'm going to try my hardest to get back into YouTube. Another life update, I guess, that I might be missing is just three weeks ago, I decided to follow a fitness journey. So I am trying to lose. Sometimes I hate saying how much I want to lose because people are like, where, Vivian, where is those 20 pounds? I think it's just look at the number and i don't want it to be the number it is so that's why i say 20 pounds and but no i've been eating really good lately don't get me wrong i still have like my little cheats i've been working out i got a gym membership also like three weeks ago that's when i decided to make this health fitness journey or whatever i'm going to say this i am already down three pounds monday i did cardio which is zumba i've been really into zumba and then i also took like a yoga class and another class i've taken i've only taken three but quite a few times already since it's been like two weeks two three weeks was a hit class that one is killer but i love it i think that's actually what's probably helped me a lot too is just cardio classes i don't even think i've really hit the machines at the gym i do mainly the classes because to get back into my pcos and i am almost done with this video i promise but to get back into my pcos i did research a lot in order to treat it naturally i have to lose weight and exercise so i need to exercise pretty much exercise has to be my lifestyle so hold me to it text me dm message whatever on instagram social media and let me know when you think i'm slacking because i probably am and i shouldn't so catch me on my stuff and um call me out on it i really i'm giving you all permission to call me out on my bad habit of probably not working out but i'm gonna try really hard to continue you know this being my life i also have been i'm i'm looking at it I actually just started doing that this week is wearing this faja how do you say it in english like a for your tummy uh waist trainer is what it's called it's the one that has like the buttons also what i'm looking at is my water so i drink a ton a ton of water i try to stay away from like sugary drinks besides coffee that is my weakness i i don't think i could cut that out i don't know i'm very excited for this summer just because actually what am i saying i am not excited it is so humid here but i'm more excited for like the fun stuff like the lakes oh yeah i am excited also because my husband and i are making a trip to florida in a couple months so that has already been official i'm very excited to continue staying strong and again i have my days guys i really do i have my moments where i'm like struggling i am on a struggle bus and those days are just normal you know i pray <laughs> that's what i do is i go straight to praying i just talk to god i have my communication with him and my relationship with him so i think i'm going to end the video here i hope i didn't miss out on anything because for about 10 11 months of me not filming is 
a lot to talk about and I hope this video is not too long. I will just say that. Um, that's where I've been and I plan to be back on my YouTube. So just leave in the comments down below videos you guys would want me to film. I just want you to know that I have no plan for this YouTube channel. I have no intentions to making it a certain way. I am literally just going with the flow. I have so much fun with just posting the most random videos and that's where I continue to probably stay. It's just been really, really busy for me. So in those busy things though, I do plan on filming. So just vlogs pretty much for the most part. I don't know if you guys want to see like an updated makeup routine or I don't know, a day in my dog's life. Hmm, what else? What else? <laughs> that reminds me of that. Uh, TikTok video. I haven't been on TikTok or social media. Did I already mention that? I probably think I did. I gave up social media for Lint, right? And um, I haven't been on TikTok, but when I was on TikTok, there was a video of like a little Grogu and he just, he's writing a like grocery list and the mom is telling him like what to put on there. And he's like, what else? What else? That's like his little accent he has and it's just hilarious. Honestly, I think I said it all and I am going to end the vlog here. I think I did pretty good to not have cried because um, I definitely could have. <laughs> You're not alone, guys. Please reach out to me, to family member, to someone and do things that you love. Like for me, honestly, YouTube is going to keep me pretty distracted and things I put in my life and in my schedule are going to keep me distracted from getting low and getting to the low part where I was you know, last year. So I love to just shop <laughs> and uh, I gotta stop that habit though because I have so much clothes and I don't need it. I need to actually donate some clothes. And again, guys, just stay strong. <laughs> stay strong and just work it out, figure it out. You got this, you are strong. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stayed all the way to the end, I hope this video doesn't turn out to be too long, um, but I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.